Hello teammates, welcome back to science. Our aim for today, Kipsters will be able to identify symbols on a weather map to predict the weather. The first thing we need to talk about is what the H stands for on a map. The H stands for high pressure. It does not stand for hot. When there is a high pressure system, the days are sunny. An easy way to think of this is would be to say that the H stands for a happy day. Go ahead and pause this video and write down the definition of high pressure. The opposite of high pressure is the L on a weather map. That stands for low pressure. When there is a low pressure system, the weather is usually rainy, snowy, or just not very nice. The L can stand for lousy weather. Go ahead and pause this video and write down the definition of low pressure. Now, a lot of times when you look at a weather map, you'll see these two different lines, either a red line or a blue line. The red line represents a warm front, and that's when warm air moves into an area, usually going from east, or excuse me, west to east. An easy way to remember this, you see the circles on the red line? You could think of those as like suns coming up over the horizon. Go ahead and pause this video and write down the definition of warm front. The opposite of that is a cold front. And a cold front is shown by a blue line with blue triangles on it. Think of them as icicles hanging down from your roof during the winter months. A cold front is when cold air moves into the area. Please pause this video and write down the definition of cold front. Let's take a look at different maps on the weather, or excuse me, different symbols on the weather map. You can see that rain is shown by dots, heavy rain is more dots, snow looks like snowflakes, fog looks like lines, the high pressure is H, the low pressure is L. Sometimes this R looking symbol represents a thunderstorm, but usually people just draw in lightning bolts. The warm front is the line with circles, and the cold front is the line with triangles. Now I want you to make your own weather maps. As the papers are being handed out, I want you to take a look at your blank map. You need to come up with different symbols along the map. Make it your own and have fun with it. You will have about 10 to 12 minutes to complete. You may use colored pencils. Once you are finished, please pass your paper to a teammate, and on the back, they will need to record all the different places they can find rain, lightning, warm front, cold front, high and low pressure. And go ahead and write some numbers on your map, teammates. That'll represent the temperature. Have fun with it, and make sure you stay at a quiet one.